Hey guys, welcome to day three of our PE at home activities. Today's activity is called math bowling. So for this activity, you're going to need cups or water bottles, anything that you can knock down, a piece of chalk, and any type of ball that you have at your house. Now that you have everything you need, I'm gonna show you how to set up the activity outside and inside. So first, outside, you're going to mark the ground with 10 numbers 10 to 1 in a triangular position. You can see it right here, an example right here. And then you're going to line up the cones on your start position as shown here, okay? Now, if you wanna do this inside, you could do the same thing, except instead of writing down the numbers with chalk, you're gonna write down the numbers on pieces of paper and tape it to the floor, and then place your cups or your objects that you're knocking down in a straight line across on the other side of the room. Now that you have your activity all set up, we're gonna go through part one. So part one of the activity, you're going to run from the cups to the numbers, placing one cup on a number at a time. So first I'm gonna start at the numbers and run to the cups, grab a cup, place it down on the numbers, and then run back to the cups until I have all 10 cups in the triangular position. After that, we're gonna go over part two. So I'm gonna show you part one right now. Now that we have part one done, we're gonna get to part two. Part two is when we bowl and we incorporate the math. So for this, I'm going to explain how to do the activity, then I'm going to demonstrate, and then you can get started on your own. So we're first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put our start zone where we want it. It can be as far from the cups or as close to the cups as you want it to be. The far farther it is from the cups, the more challenging it's gonna be, and the closer it's gonna be easier. So pick a distance where you're challenging yourself, but it's not too hard. Now that we have our cups all placed down and we've picked our start zone, we're gonna bowl. So when we bowl, we're gonna step, bring our arm back, bend down, roll, follow through to where we want the ball to go. So the cues are to step, arm back, roll follow through after we bowl we're going to see what cups get knocked down now each number that gets knocked down you're going to write with your chalk on the ground 10 minus whatever number it is so if i knock down cup number two i'm going to subtract 10 minus two and that equals eight if i knock down three cups one is two one is eight one is six then i'm going to subtract each of those numbers from 10 and then i can bowl roll again all right, so I'm at my start position. I'm going to step, bring my arm back, bend down, roll the ball on the ground, and knock down as many cones as I can by following through and going where the ball points to. So that, now that I see what numbers I knocked down, I'm gonna come over to the side and write down 10 and subtract each number that I knocked down from 10. So 10 minus 10 equals zero. 10 minus six equals four and so on. So mine looks like this. Now to make this easier, I'm going to just identify which cups I knocked down and their numbers and then write them on the ground to practice writing my numbers. 10, six, five. This harder, I'm gonna pick a random number and use that number as my start and subtract each number that I knock down from that number. So if I start with 23, 
I'm gonna subtract 10 from that. That equals 13. Then I can do 23 minus five and subtract that. That equals 18 and just practice my subtracting. Each time I roll, I'm gonna pick a different number to start with. This game today, this game was math bowling. We worked on subtracting and we also worked on our rolling form and we got some fitness in too. Check back tomorrow for another video.